Now then YouTube, I'm the Toffman and welcome to uh, a quick look really at Material Energy Cubed. You can find it on the uh, Feed the Beast launcher, the FTB launcher, and uh, it's under the third party packs. Now, guys, I'm going to give this a quick look. This is not something that I think will end up as a series. It just depends on whether or not you guys would like to see this and uh, so on and so forth. Anyway, I'm just going to do a couple of episodes just going through uh, what it is. I personally... I haven't seen this. First time I've, uh, I've heard about it before. Let's go single player and create a new world. What I have noticed is there's nothing here. You literally get to name your world and that's it. So let's call it Tester and create ourselves a brand new world. Um, basically, uh, apparently, you start with um, a whole host of machines, as you can probably see around me right here. Um, open me. Good stuff. Let's have a look. Ooh. There seems to be a book, like, floating around. Hmm. What have we got? We've got a hardcore questing book. Let's open this. Connected to frequency HQ, begin transmission. Long-range scanners have detected an explosion in the second level of the station Alpha. Power generation is offline, but the elevator shaft is still functional. One life sign reported. If you are receiving this message, you must bring full power online in order to power the teleporter for extraction. No help is being sent. You by yourself. End of transmission. Click here to start. Okay, so we've got some stuff. We've got, looks like we've got eight things to do. We've got a victory monument, pay to win, left alone. Um, yesterday, when everyone was alive and well, a researcher accidentally left a blacklisted block in the special area. They chose me to go in and get it. Wonderful. 33 quests in total. Wow, this is uh, this is pretty. This is set up pretty nice here. Base tour. It's a repeatable quest. Backup power, and so on and so forth. I'll have a, uh, a look into that in a second. I'm just going to go into this and turn off view bobbing. I can't stand view bobbing. It's horrible. So let's uh, put the brightness up. And there we go. So open me. We have a readme by parcel thirty one U. Welcome to Material Energy Cubed. If this is your first time in a spatial energy adventure, please refer to this guide for details. If in any case you lose this book, simply curl up on the floor and focus on breathing until you feel safe again. Rules. None. You are a rebel. Why limit yourself to silly little rules? Be adventurous. Ad Adventurous. And break all the blocks, explore where you shouldn't, and most of all, find all those secrets. That sounds pretty good to me. I'm used to wandering around and wondering where I shouldn't do. How to use the quest book. Open the book with the right click, stare at the picture for a while, and then maybe skim over the text on the right. It's an adventure. Why would you want to spend your time reading lore for a story when you can be killing mobs with an army of golems? Ooh, that sounds good to me. Left clicking will bring you the table of contents. Loud, booming voice. Table of contents. Yep, it's that special. Don't forget to use your, the, that scroll bar. And yes, it's a pain to scroll. Click on the first chapter and you will have your first two quests available. You can tell when a quest is available by the big glowing icon. Clicking manual submit slash detect and selecting a reward is a vital uh, is vital to the completion of the quest. Okay, we already know about this map slash mod pack made by Parcel Thirty One U for jam packed and public use. All mods are open permission. If you want, to, if you find anything wrong or need help, go to the FTB forums in the third party mod pack section. Well, I haven't found anything wrong so far, other than a couple of typos, of course, but. I'm sure we'll find out the further we go along. Okay, maybe there are some rules. Try not to play on peaceful or make a mint. What? Make a mint? Why would I want to make a mint? Have I got uh, bad breath or something? Is, is, is this why they want me to make a mint? Don't tell me not to make a mint, because now I'm just like, oh yeah, let's make a mint. Looks like we've got some uh, lava behind me here. Am I allowed to uh, they said I'm allowed to break blocks, so... There we go. Right, what else have we got kicking around here? Level 1, observatory. Going down, press shift. I'm not going down just yet. I want to have a look around. We've got a chest over here. Oops. Press shift by accident. Ooh, we've got some stuff inside here. We've got a crescent hammer, microscope, chemical decomposer, a lodestone, uh, lead stone energy cell with no energy, I've got to say, and four oak potion shelves. Let's go and have a look around. I love the sounds of that. 
That is some energized glowstone. If I take this piece of glass out, it's just going to end up in the ceiling, so I best, I best not do that. Special controls. I don't know special controls, so I really don't want to get uh, in involved with that. Special drive storage. Nothing in there. So what's here? Oh my goodness, that's a big hole. That's what she said. But I'm not going to get involved with that. What have we got in here? Looks like we've got some water cans, some strong boxes, a tuberous flux capacitor, more crescent hammers, and water bottles. In this one, we have a pickaxe kit and a 1k storage. Nine of 63 types. There is actually items in there. That's pretty awesome. We've got tons of quest books and a read me, just in case I lose the other one. We have flint inside the pulverizer. We have nothing inside this pulverizer. We've got a tank full of water and an actual tank full of water. So it seems in here. Nothing in that pulverizer and nothing in that redstone furnace. There is a chest here and a redstone furnace here. Okay, so here is energy cells. Well, there's a few of them. There's a few of them. Um, special IO port, ME controller. We've got nowhere to put that though, the ME drive. This is interesting. Let's go and have a look over here then. Can I actually get through here? W wow. Wow. That is something special. Okay, let me also turn the music off. Nobody wants to hear that. And the sound right down. I do apologize, guys. I'm sure I'll sort that out in editing. All right, let's have a closer look at the quest book then. See what we can do. Left alone, we've got pay to win. Let's open that. We've got nothing, which is unlocked in this one. Victory monument. Everything is unlocked in here. Okay. And nothing else. Okay. So, left alone is where it starts. So, should we have a quick look at the, this? Alkaline metal. A task where the player needs to give specific items. Nothing is actually showing up on there. Lithium, sodium, potassium, ruby, ru ru rubidium, and uh, cesium, caesium, 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 caesium. Depends. And we get a oh, we get a bullion for that. A bullion. How much is that? Um, anyway, I'm not going to get involved with all this stuff. I want to get involved with Left Alone. So base tar is a repeatable quest. Maybe I should take a look around the base to see what is still functioning and what needs to be rebuilt. The first floor. Oh, we never went to the second floor, that's right. They never showed me the second floor, even though I was supposed to be learning everything here. It was all hush-hush, but I didn't, and I didn't want to cause any friction between me and the other researchers. Storage, which is seven meters away. Is that this thing? Twelve meters away. Nope, it's the opposite direction. Where am I going? 10 meters away. What is this? Am I? Maybe it's, it's the second floor? No, this has to be the first floor. It's, it's telling me it's the first floor. Look. First floor. Oh, oh. Okay. We've done the first floor. Of course we have, because I've already done that myself. <laughs> I spent most of my time here cleaning the equipment. So it's the second floor we need to go to. Okay, now I get it. Um, I, I've apparently visited the second floor. There is nothing here. Oh, hang on a minute. Look, we've got a hardcore gate quest thingy. Ah, the third floor. Level three, victory monument. Is that literally it? Okay, for the moment it is. Wow, this is pretty well set up. This, this is very well set up. Ah, here we go, look, here we go. ME controller. We've still got no ME drive though. We've got a leadstone energy cell, full of energy. I don't know if that's actually going to stay full of energy. We've got a brass chest with a solar generator, a sugarcane farm. Ooh, interesting. I don't think I've ever seen one of them before. We've got some ME cables. Nice, a load of red ME cables right there. Uh, some more red ME cables over there. What is all this? This is the victory monument. Okay, we've got a radio, we've got a donation station, and we've got a lever. Now, I'm quite tempted, so I'm going to do it. Nothing. Maybe I need my music on to be able to hear whatever it is. No? Maybe? No. Doesn't seem that way. I'm going to turn that back off then. 
Of course, there's a lever there. You have to... You always have to switch that lever. Level 3 Victory Monument. What am I doing? Wow! Actually, I see it now. There is a ton of... Uh, of oh my god. Look at all this. We're after all of the metals, I think, maybe? Octuple compressed cobblestone. Okay, there's a load of stuff right here. I wonder if putting that burnt quartz, it doesn't actually, if you put it on there, it's not going to do anything. What's this? It just turns it off. Okay. Tough man, don't go around just turning stuff off. Is it a good idea to go down there? I'll probably have a look in a second. We've got tons of stuff on the walls over here. Um, visited, there's a secret, apparently. There's an armory as well. Must be down here. There's the armory. Look at this. That is a big armory. My goodness gracious me. Okay, we've got a, a, a thing to find. A secret, apparently. Which is eight meters away. Seven meters away. Whoops. I'd rather not chuck my book away. I wonder if it's... Hmm. Hmm. 17 meters away. Wow, that was quick. What the heck is that then? Copper ladder from metallurgy. Right. So there's a si Is this it? Oh yeah. Look at this. We've got a carpenter safe, guys. With a reward bag. And a trophy for spider. Interesting. Let's go ahead and open this reward bag. I've got a cactus farm. It's a standard reward, apparently. A 2.27 chance of getting it. So, I'd, I'd call that a pretty good reward, that. Cactus farm. Awesome stuff. So, that's a good start, I suppose. Let me go ahead and just uh, nip this into here. Along with my sugarcane farm. My trophy for spiders. I don't know where I put this. Um, I've visited it all now. Is There is a fourth floor. Building area. 21 meters away. Um... Ah, okay, so spider, where are you? There you are. Thank you. Thank you very much, spider. Does that mean if I go out of here to the victory monument, trophies? Oh, I've got to manually detect it. Hold up. Oh, can I get that back? I don't know if I can get that back or not. I'm going to leave that there. It's pretty, pretty silly. Pretty silly move on my part, that. Um, and I'm going to have a look, guys. At the fourth floor. The fourth floor. It's building area. 18 meters away. Oh, this is slightly dark. I won't, I won't deny. Um, quartz slabs, burnt quartz. We've got loads of stuff in here. Now, this is a very different start. Oh, we've got a buddy. Get in. We have a buddy. That's awesome stuff. I'm going to take some redstone lamps and some levers and just get this place lit up in the corners over here. Let me, can I do F7? I can't do F7, guys. I can't do F7. Let's just go ahead and slap that on there. Wow, this is really dark, actually. Let's pop that in there. Woo! I think we'll put one there as well. And turn it on. It would help if I turned it on. Some stuff. Might be a nice building area, but uh, for me, I would like to have it a little bit lighter. It would, would be awesome, if I could, please. And we've got, uh, just in the on the sides here, we've got open, we've got black areas. I can see these areas. So let's go ahead and just put lamps down here. I'll come down and I'll probably sort them out at some stage. Interesting concept so far, I've got to say. Very interesting concept. Going up, press space. No. Um, hang on a minute, I've only got first floor again. Am I missing something? Elevator. Oh, hang on. I get a cookie. Woo. Let's eat the cookie because I'm actually starving right now. So is that done? Oh, it's a repeatable quest. I literally just... It's instant cooldown, so I've done that. I've done. 
Can I press shift and see if I can go down a little bit more? Maybe a secret? Oh, well, that's a shame. That is a shame. Right, next on the list then, guys, is across to here. Backup power. Getting a small bit of power online is the first priority. Not much can be done without power. I seem to remember a backup solar generator laying around somewhere. I've seen that. I should check the chest on the third floor and bring the generator up to the observatory so it will have access to sunlight through the glass. The elevator is in, is in the centre of the ender-infused obsidian ring. Press shift to go down and space to go up. So we've got the solar generator there, we can just go ahead. I've seen it, it's over here in this chest. There we go, solar generator, thank you very much. I will manually detect that. I can claim a reward straight off the bat. Ooh. Quite a bit of stuff there, and spatial energy guide. So let's pop all these bits and bobs up there. Get my spatial energy guide and have a look. Um, use. Check pylon area for debris. Make sure no foreign objects are present. Then power the ME drive connected to the network. Check the IO port for required power and available power. Power in the network must be more than the required power to function. Place your special disk drive into the input slot on the left and signal a redstone signal. Stored materials should materialize uh, and the empty special disk will be put into the output slot on the right. Okay, this is confusing to me already. I am not going to read that just now. I will have a look in a second. I need to go up to the observatory apparently, which is here. I need to have it access to the power grid. Where, where would this power grid be? Solar generator. I should check the chest on the third floor. So it will have access to the sunlight through the glass. But where's the actual power? Where does it store itself? Maybe, uh... Hmm. Am I being a total noob? Possibly. Possibly. Where do I put my thing for some power? Do I just put it anywhere? Or do I put it somewhere in particular? This needs power, so surely... Do I can't put it there, because that's going to be in the way. Is it not? Oh! I ain't got a pickaxe. <laughs> I keep slapping stuff down, I ain't got a pickaxe. Do I just like right click that? I do have a pickaxe now. Look at this. This is good stuff. Can I get you back, please? I can't. I cannot actually get you back with this. That is not what I wanted to see. I need to make a pickaxe, but how do I do this? I would have no idea where to put that thing. Would I would I put it here? But it can't see the it can't see that. Hmm. I must be a total noob because I must be missing something somewhere. All right, guys. Uh, well, I cheated myself back that solar generator. I totally messed up when I placed it there, and I couldn't get it back up. So I just went ahead. I went into creative mode. I uh, picked it back up and then I just got it back. So I want to go ahead and place this just somewhere in the sun. So at least it's gathering energy. Uh, because I just I forget, guys, that over there there is a leadstone energy cell. I totally forgot about that. I uh, don't know where to... Ooh. A basic reward bag. Well, that was... Uh, I certainly didn't see that coming. Well, there you go. So I need it actually somewhere around about... Um, well, no, all of this is undercover. So I want it somewhere where I can actually see the uh, the ceiling here. And by the looks of things, does this? Yes, this will work. So I'm going to put you there. You are now creating power, which is amazing stuff. Apply a redstone energy si uh, signal to transmit energy. So let me go over to, uh, and it must stop running everywhere. This is, uh, no. I've got no food yet, which is a bad thing. Over here, we have our leadstone energy cell. I'm going to take my crescent hammer as well. And I'm going to pop that right next to the solar generator. And I'm going to power it, uh, the leadstone energy cell, uh, with the solar generator. I can't do it that side. I'm going to have to do it this side. 
And if you don't mind, you are actually the input. No, you are the output. I would like you to be the input, please. And I also need a lever. Just so happens that I picked all that stuff up when I went uh, down there. So you should be filling up. You've stopped. Time remaining until transmission starts. Two seconds. Oh. Okay, I've never seen it used like that before. But we are now gaining power in the leadstone energy cell. This thing will not uh, charge whilst it's got the, uh, the the thing on. So I will leave it off for a moment. I'll let all that charge. Whilst we have a look what's in our reward bag. Oh, wow. A time machine. What is this? Unstable 5. I, 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 I have no idea what this is. Does it speed time up? Or, I don't know. I don't know what this does. We're on 47. If I right click it, it's not doing anything. No. I don't know. I have no idea what that is. I'm just going to put you to one side for a moment. And uh, click here to start. Let's have a look. So we've done that. We've done that now. It's that sign. Getting food. Big, big thing, guys. The lever next to the ME controller needs to be turned on first to provide power from the backup battery. Then a signal to the IO port will cause the energy to be converted into a material arrangement, a sugarcane farm. The backup battery only has a limited charge and I might want to conserve power for the time being. If the energy cell does run out, I can always recharge it with the solar generator. With a little bit of power, food should be no problem. I need to use the special storage on the third floor where we keep all the farms for supplies. I won't have access to most of the farms since the discs are stored on the second floor. The sugarcane farm... Okay, okay, this is good. The sugarcane farm should be still loaded into the special I.O. port though. I'll have to use with what I have for now. Okay, and we need 10 sugarcanes to be able to do this. I need power, is that what it says? Let's uh, switch that on, Len. Let's gain power there whilst we go downstairs and figure out just exactly what we're doing. Because if we have a look, we've got them gate systems here. They won't unlock until we've done a certain thing. This is the area uh, of the farm. I think this is what it is. We need to turn on this, apparently. Okay. A special IO port. We need sugarcane. I've never used one of these before in my life. I've got to say. This is being powered up. Our leadstone energy cell is being powered up. Our spare one actually upstairs is being powered up. So where uh, do I... Big button. Do I press this button? Should should I? Oh, hang on a minute. We, we need 180 kilowatts. And here we go. Big button. Ho, 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 ho. Look at this. This is something special. Wow. That is a ingenious this is this map is a very very good map very ingenious i've got to say let me uh oh it's just got yeah, it's got water on the sides there so we're all right in fact hang on a second guys because I'm, I'm wasting energy here aren't i is that still going down it is let me stop you for a second then because we've already grown it now so yeah let's take that out of there put you there We've already grown it. We can just go ahead, start slapping this. Well, guys, so far, I am quite liking this. I'm liking the concept of it. This is pretty awesome. We've got enough cobble uh, enough cobblestone. We've got enough of this stuff to last a lifetime now, so that's pretty awesome. Um, oh, one more sugar cane that I'm missing. Oh, another one. Can't be missing those sugar canes, guys. Can't be missing those sugar canes. So, can we... That has got a load of pot. I would presume that if I was to put that one with uh, cactus in there. Let's have a look, in fact. Because we've got plenty of energy going into here, look. It's actually, we're losing energy. So we, we need 180. Watch over there. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
and that's going to be the cactus farm. So I, if I do this, right, and go and chop all this stuff down, I can actually grow more cactus. The sugarcane as well, that will also do it. I've got tons of sugarcane though, I really doubt that I'm going to need any of this anytime soon. So the cactus actually, I think, will will need to grow a little bit more of that than what we would do. That, I have a spare one as well, so that's pretty awesome. Let's have a look at the book. Ten sugar canes, let's claim, claim our reward. We do have a bed. Which is pretty good. Which is good actually for the uh, solar panels. We'll actually take that upstairs so we can see. When it's night time, which it just so happens to be night time. I wonder if there's any more of them things hanging around. Hiding. The good thing is that that thing pops up on the screen so that it, it shows you where stuff is. I can't, because these look, you can see them inside the inventory. That's pretty awesome. Right, let's go and set our spawn. And also make it daytime. We don't want anything to spawn. I am on uh, normal. I am on normal. That's good. That is good. Um, decompressor guide. I'll, I'll have a look at that in a second. It's obviously what I need. I also would like to have a look in my basic reward bag. Let's have a look, guys. Come on, fingers crossed. Ho -ho! Black carpet and a painting. Just in case we get a little nostalgic, we can go ahead and uh, and slap down some black carpet. Black velvet carpet, guys. You walk over it, feels like... It, oh, feels brilliant. 2.27 chance of getting it. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So, good stuff. I'll put you over there. I don't know what's in there. There's something in there, but I don't know what it is yet. And let's have a look at another quest. General Chemistry. This unlocks one quest elsewhere. I don't know if we need hardcore uh, mode enabled. I haven't, nobody, nothing's told me to uh, enable it, so. General chemistry. With the sugar cane and the power from the solar generator, I should be able to use the chemical decomposer in the observatory to break down the plant to, into sucrose. Unfortunately, sucrose is a simple sugar, providing little energy. I'll need to find a better way, uh, bet, I need to find a way to make better food soon. Getting sucrose from sugarcane is only 65% chance. Maybe if I craft it into pure sugar, I'll have a higher percentage. So we need one sucrose. We'll get a reward of an in inclusion chamber? Wow, we'll get three brass chests and uh, a reward bag. Um, do you know what, guys? I am going to grab this chemical decomposer, and I think I'm going to end this episode here. I think that I am going to go ahead and do a little bit more on this. I will certainly do another episode. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comment section below. At the moment, I think it's an ingenious map. I think it's it's got some really, really cool ideas. I'm looking forward to exploring it a little bit more. So, until next time, guys, please go ahead and leave a like if you do like what you're seeing. And as always, stay safe.